Using Windows 7 and Microsoft Application Virtualization together provides a seamless experience for users and simple management with increased control of the desktop. This screencast shows different options for configuring the AppV client to enable end-user flexibility while ensuring manageability. AppV strives to create a seamless user experience to ensure that the user is not confused by launching a physical or virtual application. In Windows 7, AppV is fully compatible with the Windows 7 taskbar and jump list, recognizes and respects AppLocker rules, is secured when using BitLocker to go, and integrates with Branch Cache for faster application delivery. Today, we're going to take a look at the user experience when launching an AppV virtual application on Windows 7 and show some of the client configuration options that are available to help IT more effectively manage the AppV client. AppV virtual applications look the same as traditional physical applications. We have a number of virtual applications installed that we'll use during this screencast. Let's take a look at the Start menu. Here, we're navigating to the menu items created by streaming the virtual application. Notice they look exactly like physical applications, so there is no change from an end-user perspective. I'll launch Microsoft Word 2007. The icon in the lower left corner demonstrates that the application is loading using the AppV client. When I close the application, the user is notified that the application is shutting down. I'm going to launch the AppV Client Management Console so that we can take a look at the options available to the IoT Administrator. Now let's look at the properties of the client. First, we'll take a look at the General tab. There are two key paths here, the Global Data Directory, and the user data directory. The global directory is for settings that are shared across users and apps. The user data directory stores information about a specific user and their preferences for the application. Now, let's switch to the interface tab. The application launch of Word that we just showed uses the default configuration settings, which puts the client in the tray and gives the launching pop-up. This pop-up gives the user an indication of what is going on including if there were any errors on launch. The administrator may want to disable these notifications so that virtual application launch looks and feels just like physical application launch. They can completely remove the AppV client from the end user view by selecting and applying Do Not Show the App Virtualization Client and Setting Information message display to zero. Let's take a look at the Connectivity tab. Here, the IT administrator can configure if the client is allowed to work disconnected and for how long. If the client does not connect within the time frame specified, AppV will prevent the application from running. If offline mode is also selected, the client will not attempt to connect to the server for policy updates or for streaming, so the application needs to be fully loaded into the cache. Let's look at one last tab, the Permissions tab. Here are a number of activities that the IT administrator can allow the user to perform. These can be configured for the clients across the enterprise using the AppV Client ADM template. Now that we're familiar with some of the client configuration options, I'm going to go back to the Start menu and launch Word 2007 again. This time, we don't see the notification in the lower right corner and the virtual application launches. You'll also notice that the icon for the virtual application is created in the Windows 7 taskbar. And just like a physical application, it functions properly with jump lists and when pinned to the taskbar. This provides a truly seamless experience to the end user without any indication that this is a virtual application. In this screencast, I showed you how launching an AppV virtual application will appear to an end user who is running Windows 7. I showed how to hide the notifications from the AppV client and shared some of the client configuration options for the IT administrator who needs to manage AppV for many machines in their environment.